Right now, more than 100,000 Americans are on a waiting list for a life-saving organ transplant. The majority of those people are in need of a kidney. We, uh, while organ donations have increased in recent years, the United Network of Organ Sharing says that 12 people die every single day waiting for the vital organ. Now there's a push to change that. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young is here. And Taylor, there is a group advocating for the federal government to pay people for a kidney. Yeah, and I know this sounds very crazy considering it is illegal by the federal federal government to sell a human organ, but there is a proposed pilot program that's really picking up speed nationally. And what it would do is it would pay people thousands of dollars to donate their kidney. Now this program is called the End Kidney Deaths Act, and it essentially would allow the federal government to provide a $50,000 refundable tax credit to living donors who give a kidney to a stranger. Now, the recipients would be people who have been waiting the longest on the kidney wait list. An organization called the Coalition to Modify NOTA is behind the effort. And just like their title, their goal is to tweak the National Organ Transplant Act. That act was originally passed in the 80s and made it illegal to purchase or sell human organs. Now, this group says the act, if changed would encourage more living people to donate a kidney and by its 10th year after passage the group says it would save the lives of upwards of 100,000 Americans so clearly a need for more kidneys out there yeah fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money how's how's the payout process work yeah so this does not happen all at once the payout would take place over five years so around ten thousand dollars a year and that money would get paid out around tax season and the thought process here is that this would deter people People from agreeing to doing this because they're trying to make a quick buck and then might end up regretting it later. And another reason why advocates are really pushing for this is because they say it will also save taxpayer money. Every year, the group says the United States government spends nearly $50 billion to pay dialysis treatments for patients, and it claims treatment is far more expensive than transplantation. Is there opposition? Yeah, absolutely. There's definitely opposition here. And from our research, the most common opposition is the exploitation part, kind of going back to the payments and why they're over a period of time is because there is a fear that when you have this much cash being offered to people, I mean, they're going to go for it, even if it means giving up an organ. And there have been other arguments made that more funding should be going towards the process of getting um, organs from people who have passed in 2021, just under 20,000 kidneys were donated from deceased people. And there is one more argument is that this could fuel the black market, um, which is a really big problem, especially in other countries. Though there's a fear too that this could end up leading to more issues involving the black market. All right, Taylor, thank you very much. Even if this program doesn't necessarily happen, if they could give an incentive for people to sign up as an organ donor on their license, even that would be a step in the right direction. Absolutely. I think that this in and of itself is just bringing awareness to the yeah. need. Because, I mean, those numbers are staggering, the amount of people that die every day needing yeah. a kidney. So either way, we're, the word is getting out yeah. there.